Hi everyone, welcome to He Said, She Shed. I'm Renee. Today is the day when we get to move into the She Shed, my creative space, my art studio, all of the things. Over the past few years, I've been accumulating supplies and organizational materials, etc., and just putting them up in the loft. So the first task is going to be to go through the loft and really decide what is going to be in this space and what needs to just be donated or something like that. We also need to put up some shelves so that we can start organizing them. Um, and then we'll start setting up the shelves, setting up the things and really putting those finishing touches on the studio. So I can't wait to share this with you. And when we come back, we'll get started. All right, so here we are up in the loft. Now, I know this may stress some of you out. It does me to a certain extent too. So over the last couple of years, as I've been dreaming about this studio space, I've hunted and gathered things, right? So there are things I thought, oh, this would be great for um, this item or to store this, or this is a great project. So I've had the luxury of this aisle in the loft to just dump. I've tried to organize it every now and then, but knowing that this day would come where I'd be able to officially organize and move in, I've allowed myself a lot of grace with what is here. So it's gonna be really interesting. Um, since some of this stuff has been buried for the last couple of years, I might have this, oh, I've been looking for this moment, maybe once or twice. So anyway, it'll be fun to kind of go through everything, see what I've got and see Really, am I going to do this kind of a project? Would someone else really enjoy this thing and I should donate it? Um, but it should, be, it should be a lot of fun going through and um, just seeing what I've collected. Um, it is cold up here. So yes, I am bundled up. You can see my breath when I'm talking. So um, that'll make it so that I want to work a little faster to keep the blood moving too. So anyway, I'm excited to see what's what treasure is buried here? So as I'm pulling things off, I'm, I remember when I purchased these things, I had an intention in mind. This was gonna be, you know, um, over some kind of I don't know, centerpiece or something like that. So I'm not exactly sure if I'm going to use these or not in the studio. There might be something that I put on a shelf I want to protect from dust. I'm not sure if I'm going to keep these, but maybe I might even bring them back in the house and they might actually be something that I use for cheese boards or charcuterie or something like that. So these may get put into the donate pile, which is what I'm doing. When you see me go off camera, I have two long tables over on this side of the loft and I am grouping and sorting things as I go along. So some things that I know are going to stay in the loft, some all of the shelf components that I've been pulling out. I have bins underneath for small items that I know I wanna bring downstairs. And then I also have a nice big box for things to go to Goodwill. Okay, so quick check in. So everything's been cleared off of these shelves that needs to potentially go downstairs. 
um, some of the things that I might be bringing downstairs might come back up here. Ideally, these shelves are going to be for the larger items. Like I said, like the canvases, future projects, kind of my back stock of things is ideally what this is. But I really do want everything that's in my studio to be accessible, to be visible. I don't want it to be behind closed doors or in bins because if it's out of sight, I won't out of mind, I guess. And I want to be able to use things and make things convenient and easy. And if things are up here, then I may be less inclined to just do an impromptu craft project. So I'm trying to be mindful of that too. Um, I think we actually have, we, I, we do have the means to build another shelf here, which is what I have a board over here. So I'd like David to be able to build that for me soon so that I can have another, another way to store some of this um, back stock as I call it. But we're making such good progress. All right, so I took all the items from the shelves and I put them on the tables. It looks like I'm going to have a garage sale, ironically. Um, but this was great to be able to see everything and group things so that as we begin to um, build the shelves out in the studio, we'll be able to start organizing things. I was really pleased to see how many hooks and shelves that I do have. I think it's going to make this go so much smoother and I think I'll be able to find a place for everything. All right. Well, you've been busy. <laughs> yes. It's move-in day. It is move-in day. So it you've is. been staging stuff. Yes. From your excavation, from your, what's the, what's the word? Not excavation, um, exploration. My exploration, your, your, yes. Your, ex, yeah, exploration of the Exploration of the, the exploration. What's the word I want? I don't know. I don't know. It'll come to you tonight. Your foray you into the loft. Yes. To find long lost, squirreled away <laughs> things. But on a uh, during hat. which time I've been building a goalpost. Yeah, that's No, great. I'm kidding. Yes. Yeah. Yes. So do you want to explain what so this is? So this, I mean, yes, it, it's, um, it's a goalpost. No. So this is uh, from an IKEA closet system that's no longer made. Uh, we uh, have these all over the place in our walk-in closet. Mm -hmm. And we had some extra hardware, uh, an extra set of, uh, you can put any number of things between these two posts, anything from like cabinets or shelves or clothing rods or whatever. It's this modular thing. Mm -hmm. And... Uh, yeah, once we maxed out our walk-in closet, we just set the other stuff aside, yeah. kind of with this in mind. Yes. I think, yeah. yeah. The goalposts are in place. How do you want this configured? What's your, what's your yeah. thinking? Yeah, so we have this, I'll push this over here so you can see it, it's sideways. But this is one of the drawer units. It's gonna go this way, not like this. And I really want this to be, you know, almost <laughs> counter height. Because I think it'd be great to be able to maybe put my coffee maker on here and have it be kind of like a coffee station, coffee bar. Neat. So this mm. I want about, yeah, so the, so that it comes about here on, yeah, about up to my hips. Sure. On this pole, right? And then so we'll put that in place and then we have some narrower shelves, which I want to put two here and I want to be able to put my canvases on the top shelf. Oh, nice. And then we have a wider shelf that's going to go underneath this for heavy things like solvents and, you know, um, Got it. bigger paints and things like that. I want those down below so they don't fall on anybody's head. That's a, that's a plus. <clears throat> Safety first. All right, so now that phase one in the shelving project is complete, we're going to go on to phase two, which is using these bifold closet doors. 
So we're going to take the hinges off and then we'll start mounting them vertically on this wall here. Okay. All right, so two tape measures and two tape measures of the same brand. Been bitten by that before because they're not all created equal. An inch is not necessarily an inch. So uh, you're going to call out a height for yes. where the other shelves are and I'm going to make a mark. Okay, sounds good. And all right, here we go. Let's call that 19. I feel like I'm, I'm, I'm like, this is my northern pike. Like this isn't the catch of the day. Is this recording right now? Yes, it is. Oh, okay, I'm sorry. Okay, so I wanted to talk about these, these shelves, right? So David and I are really, feel strongly about upcycling, repurposing things that maybe were old or discarded. We wanna give them new life into something else. So some of you might've been like, these are bifold doors. How are we going to turn them into shelves? Well, we'll show you in a minute, but these, uh, each of these sets was only $12, so $6 a shelf is a pretty good deal, so I think, and then plus they're seven feet wide. So for me, it's really about trying to be economical, but also trying to keep things out of landfills and turning something old into something new. Um, they are a little rough and ready, but that's okay. Um, that kind of goes with the way I'm feeling right now after a long day of organizing up on the loft. But we're gonna put these up and I may decide to paint them later. And that's okay, I'll just paint them in place. I'll probably, if I do, I'd paint them the same color as the walls, since I still have a lot of that paint left. Okay. okay. Mm -hmm. Wow, yeah, those are, <laughs> I had to stand back and just admire them for all their glory, but wow, these are, yeah, seven feet long, that's, Seven feet yeah, it's long. significant. Yes. Can, these are bunk beds. We can sleep. <laughs> <laughs> you first. I'll watch. No, not wide enough. But anyway, but this is great. I mean, it almost looks like a library. Mm -hmm. I like this because they're only what? They're only a foot deep or so. Something we don't need to Something measure. Something like that. It's okay. But they're they're nice and narrow, so things won't be lost in the back of the shelf. I mean, and I really love the way that these fall in line with the other shelves just visually just carries that through. So I love it when a plan comes together. I know, I know. So, but now it's funny because as I've been bringing things down here to start settling in, I'm like, I think I need to go shopping. Because <laughs> <laughs> really, it's I It's good to have a place for your stuff. It is a good, it is Well, good. you go out and get more stuff. Exactly, thank you, yes. George Carlin. Mm -hmm. But it is, but it is amazing. And I'm excited to be able to start moving what I have Mm -hmm. and being able to see everything. Yeah. It should not be a problem. Nothing has to be tucked away. Um, there's so much good light from here coming onto these yeah. shelves. It'll be great. Okay. And we will, I will go ahead and add some small screws just to retain oh, these. Sure. But these are like, you know, this is basically like a stress panel, like a hollow core door. So, you know, either face of this is only like an eighth of an inch thick. So I want to be careful what kind of screws I use because they're, they're not going to take a lot of torque. Right. But we just want something to keep them from sliding forward, basically. It's, it's not about right. anything other, it's not about anything structural. You know, all the, all the weight-bearing stuff happens here. So just some, just some teeny little screws, yeah. or geez, you know, even double stick tape. You just want something to keep them oh, from yeah. leaping off the walls randomly. Yeah, please no. But yeah, no, I'm going to clean them up tomorrow. Get them, but I, you know, I might give them some, I might paint them. 
I mean, this is just primer on here, but I might be like, mm -hmm. I think I'm okay. But it's great. I even have it like with the with the outlets right here, mm -hmm. place to put radio or a waffle maker. I don't know. I've got I've got more do ideas. You have a waffle maker? I do have a waffle maker. I've never seen you make waffles. Do mommy make waffles tomorrow? Yeah. Can we make them out here? Why not? Okay. okay. Awesome. We'll have brunch out here. I just want to see your waffle maker right there. <laughs> Thank you.
But wait, there's more. I still have this corner, which is still empty. Um, I do have, I've added my um, Starry Night and of course a framed wreath just to add a little pop of color and some greenery to this side, but there's nothing on this floor space. So this would be a really great spot for me to be able to set up a work table, to be able to bring some furniture down and be able to do that and have that out of the way. Um, I think that would be really great, but also I'm kind of thinking maybe this would be a really great place to do some pottery. So I don't have a potting wheel or a kiln or anything like that, but I've always been interested in that. So this could be a really great corner for that too. So anyway, if you have any ideas for what to do with this space, right now it's just wide open and has lots of opportunities for something. I just don't know what yet. Um, and I will say that I do have a couple of folding tables that I have, um, and I have two folding tables are about six feet um, long. There are, there are six feet long and then eight folding chairs. So when I have friends over, they can actually run in the center of this space. So my intention was to not have anything in the center so that I could set up those tables. Um, and then that way, that's why I'm trying to take advantage of as much vertical space as possible. So we have room for those tables and chairs. But even with those tables and chairs, there's still room, I think, for a pottery wheel. So anyway, let me know in the comments below what you think I should do to this space. I am over the moon so excited with how this space turned out. I am just... I come out here sometimes and I just kind of twirl around and just look around because first of all, it's so nice and neat and clean. I don't want to mess anything up, but I am just so excited to be able to have a space where I can come out and create, start something and be able to walk away and come back and not worry about, um, oh, I need to clean this up because we need to eat dinner or whatever. So just having a space where all of my supplies are right at hand. I can see them. I know what I have. Um, and I don't even just looking at it just sparks creativity. So um, as I start to do more projects in here, I invite you to join me um, as we learn to do crafts together and do some art projects together. I am definitely a novice. I'm interested in taking some classes and some things, um, but I'm definitely a newbie when it comes to this, not a professional. This is just a beautiful space where I can come and create and invite my family and friends to come and create too. So I count you among my friends and I invite you to join me as well as I start to dig into some of these supplies, start making a mess in this space. If you have any ideas for things I could do and um, think, oh, maybe try this or something you'd like to learn please share them in the comments below. I'd love to hear them. And if you have a creative art space that you have done, please let me know. Um, and I'd love to see some pictures, hear what you learned, what worked well, what didn't work well. Um, and I'd love to dialogue with you. If you've got questions about what I use, some of my materials, or any questions you might have about creating your own she shed, um, please leave the comments below. And I'd love to be able to build this community where we're building and we're learning and we're growing together. So if you haven't already, please consider subscribing, hit the notification bell so you know when we post an episode and please like this video too. Um, I really enjoy spending time with you. Thank you for coming along with me as we set up this space. And until next time, everyone, take care.